All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Scott Kaselniak. I'm doing a Titan yellow jacket knee sleeve review. Um, give you a little background about myself since probably nobody knows me, and for good reason. Um, I am a uh, lifter in the USAPL. I have 1526 total, and not sponsored by anybody. I have no stake in reviewing any equipment any kind of way um, because no one really cares about my opinion too much, which is probably a good thing. So here we go. Yellow jacket knee sleeve. Um, it's about seventy-five dollars. Shipped about eighty. Uh, got it from Lifting Large. Um, you know, it's it's about twenty dollars less shipped than the SBD knee sleeve. So some things about it: they got the cross or the X pattern in the front. I don't know if this makes too much of a difference or not. To me. Um, it didn't make too big of a difference. It felt really good around the knee, and it stayed on the knee. Maybe that helps out with that. Um, I have a comparison of me squatting with these, the same weight, squatting with the SPDs, and I think it was like a 500 and some odd pound squat for a single. Um, there was no real performance difference in it, so you're not gonna get diminished performance, and you're not gonna get increased performance from it. Um, so basically, that, that's, that's in a nutshell performance based as far as is there more pop, is there less pop? Probably not. It's not going to be, you're not going to be able to tell. Um, I don't have a Tendo unit, so I can't perform, you know, compare force output or anything like that. So, uh, things that concern me about this knee sleeve if you can see, there's little frays everywhere on this knee sleeve. And that's pretty concerning. Now I'm not a seamstress. I probably got a C in home economics back about 15 years ago in my high school. So I don't know if this matters a ton. It could just be the manufacturer didn't clean it up. Or it could be that the damn thing's about to fall apart. So that's one of the risks you gotta keep in mind um, since there's not too many reviews out of this. Height or length whatever you want to call it. You can compare it right to the SPD knee sleeve. It's a little bit shorter, okay? Thickness, compared to SPD, a little bit thinner. To the Ray-Ban. Height-wise, the yellow jacket's just a little bit different. So it's about almost the same height. Thickness wise, it's thicker than the blue ribbon. So the decision you have to make is do you like a thicker sleeve, a longer sleeve, or a thinner sleeve, shorter sleeve? That's really, really the difference. Ray band, the blue ray bands are about what $10 less than these. So it's really a preference thing when it comes to that. You know that the blue Ray-Ban sleeves are durable. This we do know. Um, we do know that the SBDs are very durable as well because I've had these for over a year and I've been squatting two to three times a week over a year with them and they're fine. They're still good. There's not many strings falling out of it like the yellow jackets after a couple of use or not. So really the question comes down to is uh, what do you prefer and are you willing to trust it? I've never had a bad Titan product, um, but then again, I haven't had many. I've had their singlets and I've tried their uh, old knee sleeves. These feel a little bit better than their old knee sleeves. So really, you know, it's taking a risk. Now, I, I've also had the Tommy Konos and the reason I bring up Tommy Kono is, is that I had those sleeves. I spent, I think they were like $60 or $50 and I ended up ripping them. So I ended up buying a couple, you know, so it's, do you spend a hundred dollars now on SPD, a sure thing, or do you spend, you know, $120 to $150 replacing? So that, I think that's a pretty, pretty big question to answer and will only be answered in time. So on to, uh, on to the, uh, Things I, I, I like about it is that X pattern, it fits the knee really well. 
if that had that X pattern on the SBD sleeve and the thickness of the SBD sleeve, I think it would be very awesome. Um, but, you know, it is a little bit thinner. Feels a little bit stiffer than the SBD, so that, that could be just the fact that it's new and the fact that I didn't get the other sleeves except for like a year ago. So, a lot of times a newer product will feel a little bit stiffer. Um, and, and that's basically the gist of it. Um, they don't move around on your knees, they don't give you any extra pop, but the SPDs, I don't think they move around on your knees. I've heard people say they have, but I got mine tight enough to where they don't move. So that's just, it's really just preference at that point. If you like a looser sleeve, but don't want it to move around, yellow jacket might be something you look for. Um, but as, as I said, performance wise, I squatted 550 at the meet with the yellow jackets. Wasn't, wasn't a problem. And I probably would have done the same thing with the SPDs. There would have been no, no gain, no five pound gain, no five pound loss in strength or anything like that. It's just the neoprene knee sleeve. Uh, they are IPF certified for those who lift in the IPF, uh, so you can wear them in that, or the USAPL, um, and that, that's basically it, you know. Um, if you want to see more of my thoughts and more comparisons, um, I, I, I've put a few pictures out on Instagram at Sawmill Power 275 As I said, you know, it, it's, it's just a knee sleeve review. Um, just an honest review. I, I, I know a lot of times you get the athletes who get the products and they tell you it's the greatest thing in the world. I think it's good. I think that if it's durable, it, it's, it's a good choice for $75. But if I had to do it all over again, I would have just bought new SVDs. So, um, hope you enjoyed this. Sorry, the pr production value isn't really cool, you know, or anything like that. I'm just, you know, just a regular guy with a garage gym. So I'll see y'all next time.